Hello and welcome friends. Today in this video, we are going to solve the most frequent problems we face while working with tables in Microsoft Word. In my experience, tables are a quite elegant thing to add to your documents and it is used quite commonly to convey information in a very well structured and crisp manner. And trust me friends, when I say this, it's used quite uh, popularly and majority of the people in industry and academics like information presented to them in the form of tables. Hence, it's quite widely being used. But working with tables in Word can be quite daunting, and especially when it comes to formatting the text in a table and the table itself, right? Hence, today in this video, I'll show you some really cool tricks to easily format uh, your tables and also uh, help you to do it very quickly in the best possible way. So let's get started. So today we'll be learning first the basics, how to create, format, and delete tables, and then uh, how can you uh, set the table size, do some adjustments, and then uh, what kind of formatting options do you have for fitting the contents inside the cell? And then we'll look into some more formatting options for adjusting the row heights and the contents of a cell. And then lastly, we'll also look at how can you format the bulleted lists or the numbered lists inside a table. Let's get started with the first thing that is there in uh, today's agenda for us, which is to create format and delete tables. So firstly, creating tables is very easy in Word. You simply need to go to the insert tab, go to this table icon, click the drop down, and then select the number of columns that you want. Just move your mouse across and then select the number of rows that you want. Click wherever you want to end, left click, and then your table gets created. The next uh, most useful thing here is how do you format this table, right? So you go to the simply uh, table design uh, tab and then here you have a list of pre-formatted options that Word provides to you. You can select whatever you like, any of the designs, simply left click and your table is formatted in a design that you want. But in case you want a color which is not available in any of these uh, readily available uh, styles so how do you do so simply if i need to change the background color of these cells select the cells for which you want to change the background color right i have selected these cells and then go to this shading option option and then select the background color that you want so if i'll select this dark red color to show you and see the background color gets changed. Now, what do I do if I need to change the border colors? That is also something that you can change very easily. So you simply need to select the range of the table uh, for which you want to change the border. So I will select these cells, right? And then you go to border styles. Here you can select uh, whatever color or style that you want. If uh, you don't find anything suitable for you. You can uh, manually select here the color that you want. So here I'll select orange and then the width what whatever you want to 1 by 4 and then you go to this borders button and then here you select where all you want to apply borders. All borders means uh, you have borders applied around uh, the outer borders and the inner grid as well. You can select either outside only outside borders leave the inner grid intact or whatever there are a lot of options you can choose as per your wish i'll select all borders and as you can see all the borders have been changed to an orange color deleting the table is also quite easy you simply need to right click anywhere in the table go to this delete option and then select delete table and the table gets deleted quite easy right now let's see how can we set the table sizes now, I'm sure uh, many of us would have ended up in this situation, right? Many a times you paste some tables inside the word and it goes beyond the page. So how do you adjust this table width that you have? Now, there are two options to do that. One is the manual option and the second is the auto fit window option. I'll show you both options. Now, first, I'll show you the auto fit option, which is the fastest way to do it. You simply select the table and then go to this layout tab and then here you go to this auto fit button and then select the auto fit window just left click on this and then you will have the table size truncated to the width of your document automatically you don't have to do anything now i'll just do control z undo this step to go back to the previous stage 
it controls that and now we are back and just to show you how to do it manually so if you are you want to set the table size manually you simply right click on the table go to table properties and then here you have in this table tab you have the size and preferred width so preferred width is 125 percent at present which means it is 25 percent more than what the paper size is so i'll simply make it 100 percent which means that i want the table to be uh, an exact fit to the document that I have and measure is in percent. I'll click OK and the table is truncated to the paper size. There is one more manual option in terms of inches if you want. So I'll again uh, right click and go to table properties and then here if you want the measure to be in inches, you can simply select what is your preferred width. So let me select six inches and then let's see what happens. So now the table size has become six inches, right? But uh, in my view, the best option is to go to layout and then simply use the auto fit window option. It makes things quite easy, right? Let's move on further. Let's see how can we fit contents in the cell. So here the problem what we have is we still have a lot of empty space, right? The, the contents in the cell are not well adjusted. So there is one more option and that word has which can do it automatically. You simply need to select anywhere in the table go to this layout option and again go to this auto fit and this time select the auto fit contents button so this will auto fit all the contents in a cell in your entire table so i'll click and as you can see all the contents are well fitted inside the table now you see the difference uh, the table above this table is with the option as auto fit window and the window size is truncated while this is with the auto fit contents option so this in this the space is uh, utilized in a much more better manner and if you see the overall total height of the table this height is less than that of the previous table so this is the advantage of using the auto fit contents uh, option and then next thing let's understand how to adjust the row and column widths like sometimes it might happen that um, you might not be happy with the automatic or auto fit option. So in that case, you might want to change the width of these uh, columns manually. So in order to do that also, there are two ways to do it. The first is you simply move your mouse pointer over the border of the column whose width you want to adjust. And you see the mouse pointer changes. So as and when it changes, you click, make the left click and then drag, click and drag to the size whatever pleases you and then leave the mouse button wherever you want to end it. Again, I'll show you one more time for the country column. I move my mouse and the pointer changes. Now I left click and drag and the column width is changing. And then I leave the mouse button wherever I want to stop at the adjustment. This is one way. Another way is if I want to adjust the width of this particular column, I right click, go to table properties and then go to column option and select the width that I want. The width at present is 0.94 inches. Let me make it 1.2 inches. Sorry, 1.2 inches and let's see the change. So now the width has changed to 1.2 inches. All right. So that is how you can adjust your column widths. The same way you can do for row height as well. You simply um, need to move your pointer over the row a border and then you can adjust the height accordingly and then also you have another options for uh, table properties this time go to the row tab and then specify the height of the row that you want and then hit ok and it adjusted accordingly the next very important thing that you quite often want to do is uh, to adjust the cell margins so now in this table as you can see the contents are sticking to the border this border which i don't want i want some margin on the left so how do i do that to do that simply select the cells right click go to table properties and then go to cell option and then here you can select the alignments as well right uh, so in order to select uh, the cell margins, what you need to do is you need to go to the cell margins option and then select the margin that you want. 
so you can select set the margins for either top bottom left or right so as i was saying i want the margin in the left now it at present it's zero as you can see so you'll simply set it as 0.2 inches and you see the 0.2 inches of margin has been created let's do it again uh, let's keep a top margin as well so i'll select the entire table go to cell margins i'll set a top margin as 0.1 see margin has been created for point one so similarly you can set your margins for top bottom left or right or in fact you can make it make it zero as well so i'll make it uh, back to zero hit okay so now it's all well adjusted back as it was before now let's explore some more options now what do we want to do here you might end up in a situation uh, where you have different row heights right I'll just make the entire table appear in this page so now we have three rows here right but then the problem that i see here is the row height of the first row is greater than the bottom two row heights and i want all these three heights to be same so what do i do simply go to the layout option and then use this option distribute rows as you select this, you see all the row heights have become uniform. Now, something else that I might not, I might need to do is uh, set the alignment of text within the cell. So here in this table, as you can see, the texts are uh, vertically aligned to the top of the cell. But I want to uh, keep it at the center of the cell because that way it looks much more better. So I'll just select the table and uh, right click go to table properties here in the word go to cell option and in the vertical alignment option go to center select the center button hit ok and all your cell contents have come to a center position so similarly there are uh, different options either top center or bottom you can align in whichever way with that pleases you right now let's come to uh, understanding how do you format a bulleted list inside a table. Many times it so happens that you might have a list of bullet points inside a table. Uh, so I have also another video which talks in detail about the formatting options with respect to a bullet list. So you can also visit that video in order to mo know more in detail. However, here I'll cover it very briefly. So let's suppose uh, I want to change the space that is there between uh, the bullet and the line which starts right so I'll simply right click uh, sorry I'll first select the bullet for which I want to make the formatting right click go to paragraph option and here we have two indents one is the left indentation and the special indentation left indentation means the space that is there between the starting of the cell and the starting point of the bullet so this space is the left indentation which is 0.25 inches right now so i'll reduce it to 0.1 to show you the change and hit ok so we see now the margin is only 0.1 inches i'll control z to go back and do and now i'll show you how do you change the space between the bullet point ending and the place where the text starts so this space i'm talking about so let me right click on this bullet point go to paragraph again now here the hanging indent is 0.25 inches i'll make it 0.1 and hit okay so now you now now you see the difference the text has come closer to the bullet so that is how you format the bullet list or the spacing so similarly you can repeat for all the bullet points and another very useful feature is of the format painter. So if I want to replicate the same settings, uh, format settings to the next bullet point as well, I simply have to select format painter and then click on this bullet also. So you see the formatting has been replicated in the next point as well. So these are uh, the options that I wanted to show you in this video for uh, using tables. I hope this was useful and in case you want to know more about uh, some options to format tables on or in case you are facing some problem while you are using table which you want me to cover in part of these videos please post your comments below 
and yes please don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel i keep posting such informative and useful videos hoping that it will help you in your daily work thank you all for watching uh, bye for now